What's up guys, I'm Pede Beats, and after this video, you are going to make the hardest glow beats in the game. I'm going to drop some souls, so make sure to watch the entire video, and uh, let's get into it. So the best way to start this type of beats is by using a brass, so I will go in my Nova one shot kit, and we can go in orchestral. Let's use this I1. Of course, we need to change the envelope of it, so we're working in C sharp minor, and uh, this can work, there is no need to change it. Yeah, without the middle note, it sounds harder. So in this type of beats, the easiest way to create that bounce is by changing the two notes here in this spot. And we can make them shorter like this. And maybe here we could go to A. I don't like it here. Yeah. That can work. Using this strategy you can create endless melodies and they are always going to sound good. And you can create this bounce uh, also in other places, you just need to find them and experiment a little bit. So now let's add some bass notes. Bass notes are really important to add some energy to the sample. And then at the end we can create some variation and go up 3. Yeah, later I want to add another brass where I can paste uh, these same bass notes so they will sound better but for now we need to add some effects on this melody. So let's add an EQ. Some reverb of course. And I want also to add a thin micro on this, it's adding like a pitched up delay and I really like it. Yeah, it's like a little texture. Okay, I like this melody, but I think we could add some other notes maybe at the top. Yeah. One trick that I really like to use in this type of beats, since uh, the main melody is really repetitive, is just to pitch up some random notes and it's going to increment the energy of it gradually. Okay, I really like that. So right now I'm just going to make the BPM higher. We can work at 145 BPM or around that. Okay, now I'm just going to open expand because I want to use a brass that I really like and it's called the producer brace. Ooh. Sounding crazy. So you already know that in this type of beats orchestral instruments are going to sound crazy. So right now I'm going to open again expand because I want to add on it a pizzicato. We can use this one, piece strings. And here the trick is to create an easy and a repetitive melody by playing with the semitones. Can pitch this up. Up again. Ooh. Set some effects on this. Some reverb. Ooh. We can pan this on the right. That's crazy. Now I want to add a bell on this because I want to add a counter melody on this. This one is crazy. Yeah, simple like this. And yeah, as always, by using these two half steps, you're going to create a lot of tension. I want to add some effects on this. Some reverb. Okay, let's render this because I want to tweak it also a little bit. A trick that is really common to create some textures is just to reverse it and pitch it up. We can speed this up. Yeah, can automate the pen, picking a level here. Yeah, that's crazy.
Yeah, that's a nice texture. But now I want to add a choir on these. As I said before, orchestral instruments are really good and I think a choir is going to sound crazy. So lately I like to use these instruments from the stock pack of FL Studio. You can find two choirs. They really sound fake, but I think with a lot of reverb they sound crazy. Yeah, this is fine for an intro. But right now I think this beat is almost full, but it's missing something that makes it crazier, if you know what I mean. So I want to try to use a lead and maybe add some uh, slider notes to make it sound a little bit different. This one could work. Ooh, wait. Ooh. Fire, man. Let's add some reverb on it. Maybe let's add some chorus. Okay, now I think this is fire and I want to arrange it a little bit before adding the drums. But before, I wanted to tell you that the sounds that I use in this video are from the Nebula multi kit you already know. And if you want to check it out, the link is in the description. Inside of it, you will find more than a thousand sounds, so don't miss out. But now, let's get back into it. We can have a pretty full intro with this. That's fire, man. Yeah, they're very simple like this. Then the second part, we can bring back the choir. Okay, so now we can create a new pattern and add some crazy drums. Okay, for this beat, we can use a snare as a clap. Yeah, the next one is perfect. Yeah. Yeah. So for this type of beats, I really like to use uh, dark hi-hats. Yeah, the low 5 can work. Let's add some rolls. Start from the one pen and the velocity. The study set. Here we just need to follow the 808, and I really know I will use these patterns, so let's do something like this. Yeah. Now, of course, we need to add a bell, it's really common in this type of beats. Yeah. So it's a reverb on it. Also in this type of beats it's really common to use a triangle. Yeah, this one can work. Okay, now it's time to add a kick on this. The kick is really important in this type of beats to create that bounce. Okay, let's use a different bounce. And here we can use triplets. 
and now it's time for the 808 also in this type of beats i like to use the spins but we're going to modify it a little bit first of all i'm just going to use the cut itself so the notes won't clash together <laughs> Sometimes I like to add some distortion on my 808 but for this time I'm not going to add it. But I want to add an EQ because I heard in a lot of uh, shift kick beats the 808 is really targeting only the low end. So I'm just going to remove a lot of the mid end. Something like this. And here of course I have a fruity limiter where I have a slight sidechain to do that. You can just click on a kick, right click this button here and select the sidechain to this track. So then you can come on the 808 uh, and mess with these values here. So the kick and the 808 are going to sound better together. But before the free limiter, I like to add another soft clipper because the free limiter also limits the volume a little bit. So it's better to have a soft clipper before. Yeah, I love this thing. This kick could be pitched up like this because it's sounding strange. Yeah, that's better. And here we need to go up. That's crazy, man. Let's add also a transition. That's crazy. Now the kick. So hope you enjoyed this video, if you liked it, remember to drop a sub, like and comment and check out this video where I make a crazy beat for Travis Scott.